Now let's go ahead and learn uh, how to use the RMix to transcribe music, to transcribe solos, to transcribe different sections of music. So I'm going to go into my open uh, sample project. And remember, I'm doing that so that way you guys can go ahead, when you get RMix, you can use the same data and you can practice and kind of just check it out. So I'm going to do a play by ear, fast tempo. Let's go ahead and open. Now I remember when I was in college, uh, you had to transcribe solos, and sometimes some of these solos, especially bebop, the fast jazz kind of stuff, uh, was really fast and tough to hear. And back in those days, we had to use a tape player and try and try and slow it down, but then the pitch would change because of the tape. And well, that's not the case anymore. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these clear points, so we all start at the same spot, and I'll get rid of this marker right there, and I'll get rid of this marker right here. Oops, there we go. And so we have a clean slate. Now let's go ahead and back it up and let's see what we have. you hear that guitar guy he is just flying and so back in the old days this would be a tape deck or on the needle on the record and back and forth back and forth back and forth and it's not a fun uh, project or if you're trying to learn the licks this is very tough and so let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun with our mix uh, let's see where that guitar guy comes in so right around here and if we want we can go ahead and zoom in and there we can probably see a little bit better and I'll go ahead and say, let's set a marker here. Boy, he makes my head hurt. He's going so fast. And let's find where he gets out. Okay, and that's a good spot. Add another marker there. And so that's where we know where his, his points are. And so let's go ahead and set A here. And set B right there. So we have the guitar player. Uh, we know exactly where his solo starts and approximately where it ends. I think it ends over here, but uh, for our example, this will be fine. First off, let's go ahead and find him. Let's go ahead and find where he is. So you see he's right around here toward the middle. Let's go ahead and sharpen uh, our box, close in on him a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and let's lower the outside so we can make sure we got them. We got them pretty good right there. Now if we want to, we can go ahead and switch it from uh, the frame to switch it to a circle and let's see if we can get even better. And you hear when I adjust the circle on top, getting a little bit more of the drummer, maybe a little bit of more uh, hi -hat, I mean, ride cymbals going. All right, so we just isolated that guitar guy. He's just really flying. So now that we have him isolated, let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun and let's adjust his tempo. All right, so let's start him back um, over here and let's go ahead and press play. And I'm going to start adjusting that tempo. So let's go ahead and do it now. Now here's something I want you to notice, how quick that was able to do that, how quick Armix was able to do this, and we didn't adjust any pitch, we didn't lose pitch, uh, pitch didn't uh, wander a little bit, it's still dead on pitch. So check it out, let's go ahead and back it up one more time again from that A point, and let's play. Let's speed it back up. Wow, check that out. That quickly we were able to go in, and all we did 
is we use our shape tool here and we determined it's up to you whether the rectangle sounded better and get got all his frequency is all his energy or the circle and once we had that I went ahead and brought down the outside because we don't want to be distracted with what some of the other instruments are playing when we're really trying to hone in on the notes or the phrasing of that guitar player now at, once we did that we went ahead and we started adjusting the tempo and that's cool now what if for uh, your transcription class in college or you're just trying to learn that really crazy heavy metal lead okay this is a great maybe you guys want to drop it down okay let's go ahead and do that now watch this So as you can see with the verifrace processing, we have full control over that tempo. And if we wanted to, we can go ahead and change the key of that and learn it in a different key. So this can be very helpful uh, to you guys when you're trying to learn uh, different licks or different runs and trying to learn the different keys. Uh, this is a great way. And then once we have it how we want it in the specific uh, pitch and tempo, once again, all you have to do is go to export and it exports it as a WAV file. So you can go ahead and uh, practice along wherever you want so you can go ahead and have the original wave file you can have it at maybe uh, 50 percent and then go up to 60 you know 75 80 100 and then maybe even go in redlining which i i don't even want to let's let's see what this guy does for fun uh what i call redlining where well, that's faster than 100 percent <laughs> Yeah, there's no need for that. That's, that's a crazy person right there. So as you can see, very easy to go ahead and uh, use this for transcriptions. So as you see, using our mix uh, to go ahead and adjust your WAV files, your different music, uh, use it as almost like a CSI uh, and go in there and really highlight those different parts of your music. Maybe adjust how the volume uh, are in the different instruments or a specific instrument. And then if you wanted to add effects, uh, if you have a recording that has some noise in it, remember you can go to the noise cancel section and take out those specific noise very easily. And then also uh, what I love is making the music minus one or use it for transcriptions. Now also you can go ahead, now try this, go ahead and take in two different WAV files and we can go ahead and create a remix as well and then export it out. Uh, we'll do that in a later example. But I think this is a good spot for you guys uh, to get going on our mix. As you can see, very easy to use. It's not hard. It's one big, nice interface. And so give it a shot, and I'm sure you're going to love it.